Scene script. Have you ever wondered why we do what we do? Why are some habits so deeply ingrained in us? Welcome to the intriguing world of habits, where everyday routines are more than just repeated actions. They are the silent architects of our lives, shaping our daily experiences and ultimately our destinies. Today, we delve into the heart of this fascinating subject through the insightful lens of Charles Duhigg's seminal work, The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business. In this exploration, we uncover the science of habits, revealing their immense power and crucial role in our lives. Duhigg presents a compelling argument. Our habits are not merely actions, they are the building blocks of our individual and collective lives. They determine our productivity, our health, our happiness, and even our financial success. But what exactly is a habit? At its core, every habit is a three-part process that Duhigg calls the habit loop. It begins with a cue, a trigger that tells your brain to go into automatic mode. Following the cue is the routine, which can be physical, mental, or emotional. This routine leads to the third and final part of the loop, the reward. The reward is a positive reinforcement for the brain, teaching it to remember this loop for the future. Imagine, for instance, that you have a habit of going for a run every morning. The sound of your alarm is the cue, the run itself is the routine, and that post-run endorphin rush is your reward. This simple yet powerful loop is the key to understanding and decoding our habits. This habit loop is not just a theoretical concept. It's a practical tool that enables us to dissect our habits, understand their roots, and ultimately harness their power. By understanding this loop, we can identify our cues and rewards and consciously create or change our routines. So the next time you find yourself reaching for that bag of chips, remember the habit loop. It might just be a cue leading to a routine that's looking for its reward. Understanding this loop is the first step towards changing any habit. So, how can we change our habits? Well, the answer lies in understanding the golden rule of habit change. This rule suggests that to alter a habit, one must keep the cue and reward the same, but change the routine. Sounds simple, right? But let's unpack this a bit further. Imagine you have a habit of snacking on unhealthy foods mid-afternoon. The cue is the time of day and the reward is that delightful burst of flavor and the temporary banishment of hunger. But the routine, snacking on junk food, is what you want to change. According to the golden rule, you can switch out the routine. Instead of reaching for a bag of chips, you grab a handful of nuts or a piece of fruit. The cue remains the same, that mid-afternoon hunger pang, and the reward is still satiety and a tasty treat, but the routine has changed. And voila, you've just applied the golden rule of habit change. Now let's take it a step further. What if the habit you want to change is a bit more complex? Say, procrastination. The cue might be a daunting task, and the reward is the temporary relief from stress. The routine, of course, is putting off the task. To apply the golden rule here, you'll still need to address the task, the cue, and you'll still want the stress relief, the reward but you'll change the routine. Instead of procrastinating, you might break the task into smaller, manageable parts and tackle them one at a time. The relief from stress will still be there, but now it's accompanied by a sense of accomplishment. The beauty of the golden rule of habit. Change is that it's applicable to virtually any habit you want to change, from nail biting to overspending. And while it requires mindfulness and effort, the payoff can be significant. Remember, the key to habit change is not to resist the craving, but to redirect it. Did you know that not all habits are created equal? There are certain habits, which we call keystone habits, that are more powerful than the rest. These habits are so influential, they have the power to start a chain reaction, changing other habits as they move through our lives. Let's imagine a row of dominoes. You knock one over and it triggers a chain reaction causing all the others to topple over one by one. Now replace these dominoes with habits. When you change one keystone habit, it sets off a cascade of changes in your other habits. Take for example the habit of regular exercise. It seems simple, right? Just a physical activity. 
but studies have shown that people who start exercising regularly tend to start eating healthier. They reduce their smoking and drinking. They spend more time on productive tasks. They feel less stressed and more in control of their lives. These are all separate habits, yet they are all impacted by the keystone habit of regular exercise. Or consider the habit of daily planning. Those who spend a few minutes every morning planning their day tend to be more productive, more focused and less stressed. They're better at managing their time and prioritizing tasks. By changing just this one habit, they're able to influence a whole range of other habits. Now you might be thinking, how do I identify my keystone habits? It's not always easy, but a good place to start is to look for habits that are tied to your self-image or sense of self-worth. These are usually the habits that, when changed, can trigger a domino effect in your life. So to transform your life, you don't necessarily need to change all your habits. Just focus on identifying and changing your keystone habits. The ones that have the potential to cause a ripple effect, changing other habits and transforming your life. Identifying and changing these keystone habits can have a profound impact on our lives. Can beliefs really influence our habits? An intriguing question, isn't it? But the answer is a resounding yes. Beliefs are not just the stuff of fairy tales and philosophers. They play a crucial role in our lives, especially when it comes to changing our habits. Imagine you're trying to cultivate a new habit, perhaps waking up early or reading more books. Initially, the excitement fuels your motivation and you're able to stick to your new routine. But then, life happens. Challenges arise. Setbacks occur. You hit the snooze button once, then twice. The unread books start to pile up. It's at times like these that belief becomes your beacon. Belief is the conviction that change is possible, that despite the obstacles, you can transform your habits. It's the faith that the effort you're putting in will yield results. This belief is not just an abstract concept. It's a powerful force that can make habit change possible. But how exactly does belief influence habit change? Well, it works in two ways. First, belief fosters resilience. When you believe in your ability to change, you're less likely to give up when faced with difficulties. You see setbacks not as insurmountable obstacles, but as temporary hurdles to be overcome. The second way belief influences habit change is through its impact on motivation. When you believe that change is possible and that your efforts will bear fruit, you're more motivated to stick to your new routine. You're willing to put in the time the effort and the persistence required to transform your habits. Belief is like the fuel that keeps the engine of habit change running. Without it, the engine sputters and stalls. With it, the engine runs smoothly, powering you towards your goal. So yes, beliefs can indeed influence our habits. They are the underpinning of our ability to change, the foundation upon which habit transformation is built. They give us the resilience to bounce back from setbacks, the motivation to keep going, and the conviction that change is possible. Belief, it seems, is an essential ingredient in the recipe for habit change. So, are you ready to harness the power of habit? We've spent the past few moments delving deep into the science behind habits, exploring their power and how they shape our lives and businesses. It's been a journey of discovery, unearthing the golden rule of habit change, understanding the impact of keystone habits, and exploring the critical role of belief in our lives. Now, it's time to take these theories from the pages of Charles Duhigg's insightful book, The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business, and apply them to our own lives. Picture yourself standing at the helm of your ship, with the power to steer it in any direction you choose. That's the power of habit. Remember, habits are more than just routines. They are the invisible architecture of our lives, shaping our health, productivity, and happiness. The golden rule of habit change isn't about fighting old habits, but rather replacing them with new ones. It's about identifying the routine, experimenting with rewards, isolating the cue, and having a plan. Keystone habits, on the other hand, hold a position of importance. They have the power to start a chain reaction, changing other habits as they move through our lives. They influence how we work, eat, play, live, spend, and communicate. And the role of belief. 
It's the cornerstone of any successful habit change. It's the fuel that keeps the engine of change running. Now, imagine the possibilities if you could harness this power, the power of habit. What could you achieve? What aspects of your life could you transform? The power to change your habits and thus your life is in your hands. It's time to take control. It's time to shape your future and create the life you've always desired. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and share this video. Remember the power to change your habits and thus your life is in your hands.